talking to you about the cello. I'll cover the history of the cello, the parts of the cello, and the time of the cello. The history of the cello. The cello comes from the Italian language. It is pronounced cello even though it is spelled C-E-L-L-O-G-O. You pronounce cello. The full word is violon cello, which means little violon. And um, the cello, violon range from the size of the cello to the size of the bass. So the cello is simply a small violin. The cello developed in the 16th century as a bass instrument in string groups. So the double bass was added later. When composers started to write concerti grosso, they started to give the cello a small solo. Johann Sebastian Bach wrote six very famous solo suites for the cello. King Frederick Wilhelm II of Prussia loved the cello and inspired Mozart, Beethoven, and Haydn to write music for the cello. In the 19th century, many famous composers wrote music for the cello. Many of them are cellos themselves. Parts of the cello. Generally black, but in this picture, I do not color them. Um, we have the strings A, B, A, B, G, and C. Um, the apples, which um, let the vibration in the cello come out and make music. Then the bridge. I have a big bridge here. I have a medium sized bridge also. Um, here I have a base bridge against somebody's face. Um, and the bridge, you can't see it in this picture. Here you can. But there, there are the F holes. And so the bridge would be right here. And the sound pipe is connected because the, the strings vibrate which makes the bridge vibrate. And the bridge is against the front of the cello. And so the front of the cello vibrates and the sound post helps the front, um, the vibration from the front of the cello vibrate the back. Then I have um, the tailpiece, which also we get noise in. And then the fine tuner. And then the end pins. And for a while there weren't myself have played the cello for four years and I'm going to play for you a song my time. I have the obvious question. Mm -hmm. How much do you practice? The question was, how much do I practice? And the answer is, um, half an hour, generally every day. I've played now um, two times. I've played 100 days in a row, practicing half an hour every day. Good for you. That's impressive. Any questions? 
Yes. Um, do you ever have problems with the bridge? Well, I have two questions, actually. Do you ever have problems with the bridge falling, collapsing? Question one is, do I ever have problems with the bridge, like, falling or collapsing? Mm -hmm. And I never had a bridge break, mm -hmm. but um, a temp you might have, like, the um, controls in your case and you drop it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the bridge will get a bump, mm -hmm. and then you have to bring it back because if it's um, out of position, it will sound very odd. Mm -hmm. I, I asked that because my son played the cello for many years and he had a running issue with the bridges, so <laughs> I was just curious to see how, how other people did. The other question I had for, uh, for you was, um, why would you, what, are, what do the different bridge sizes represent? What, you know, what is the purpose of the different sizes? The question was, what's the purpose of like, the different, different size bridge? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, if you have a bigger cello, then you'll have a bigger bridge. Oh, okay. Because Run higher up, so it's based on the size of the cello itself. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff.